Hello. Today we're going to solve D equals A minus B over C for B. So our goal here is to get the B completely alone. Our goal here is to take this B and get B on one side and everything else over on the other side. So this is our goal. If there were more than one B in the problem, we could not have B on the left and the right. We'd have to get one B in the entire problem. In this problem, there is only one copy of B, so we're okay there. Now, there are two things, well, there are three things that are happening to the B. One is that it is being divided by C. Another one is that A is up here with it. The B is subtracted from the A and the negative sign is multiplied by the b. So we're going to have to undo each of those. So the first thing that we would like to do is to multiply both sides by c. That will give us, if we multiply by c here and multiply by c here, D times C, which I'm going to put in alphabetical order as CD, but DC is also acceptable here. It's just a math convention to put those in alphabetical order. And then on the right hand side of the equation, the C goes into itself one time, as long as it's not zero, because um, we can't divide by zero. This problem really couldn't be resolved if C were zero, so we'll just have to assume that C is not zero. If C is not zero, then C goes into itself one time and C goes into itself one time. Some students like to think of the C here as being C over one. We'll just make a note here that C cannot be zero. Sometimes they will tell you this in the problem and other times they will not. So on the right hand side here, A minus B times one is A minus B. And on the denominator we get over one, but we don't need to write that. So now, what is the next step that we need to take? We have A over here next to the B, so I'm going to get rid of the A. Since A is uh, over here next to the B, how can I move A to the other side using legal math method methods? I can add or subtract I can add or subtract A from both sides. Think about this, if I add A to both sides over here, I get 2A. So that is not going to help. But if I subtract A from both sides, then on the right hand side, I get no A. So I am closer to my goal of getting B equals to something. All B on one side and everything else on the other. So can you see that we have to subtract A from both sides in order to get rid of it? All right. So now we get CD minus A. Those don't look like like terms to me. So I am simply going to do CD minus A. Remember, only like terms can be combined. So these have variables that are different variables. So they cannot be like terms. Then A minus A is 0. I'm not going to write the 0. And then I get minus B. Now we're almost done. And some students incorrectly believe that we are done. But when we get minus b, we have really not met our goal of b e solving for b equals something. So what does that mean if I have minus b? You can think of that as being like minus 1 times b. So the third thing that we're going to need to do is to divide both sides by minus 1. So if I divide by minus 1 over here, and I divide by minus 1 over here, let's see what we get. So we've got CD over minus 1, and then we've got minus A over minus 1. Perhaps you can see that on the right, minus B minus 1 is simply plus B, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. 
So let's look at what happens over here. Both terms are going to be divided by the negative 1. CD over minus 1 is a positive, right? That's implied to be a positive. We don't see the sign. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. So I get negative CD. So that becomes negative CD here. And then minus A over minus 1, well, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so that's plus A. Now, you can't just write A here. You have to write the plus. Or another acceptable solution would be to write A minus CD equals B. Both of these are correct, and either of these should be considered the correct answer. So remember, when we solve this type of problem, our goal is to get the variable that we are that is designated here we're supposed to solve this for b right so our directions here say solve and then it gives you the problem in blue for b so our goal is to get b equals if we get minus b equals we're not done we have to continue on until we get all the way to b these types of problems will take some practice um, there are some common math errors that students tend to make if you're not sure uh, remember just to go step by step. Okay, I want to get B alone. I'm dividing by C. So if I multiply both sides by C, the C will go away. Now let's look at this and see what we need to do. Well, I know I've got to get rid of the A, so either I add it or subtract it. But if I add it, then I don't get the right thing. So let's try subtracting it. And then remember, don't combine like terms. That's the biggest problem that students have in this scenario. If you can avoid not combining like terms, you can probably get this right. And then if you uh, have that this uh, expression here equals minus b, we want to divide both sides by minus 1 to get minus cd plus a equals b, or that's the same as saying a minus cd equals b. Notice the sign that's here in front of the cd is that same sign down here, and the sign that's here in front of the a is the same implied sign here. So that's always going to be true. I can't just switch the a and cd and leave the signs where they are. That would be incorrect. Good luck!